okay, in this problem, uh, we're doing movie tickets again, except this time we have more information that we have to gather, and that is that the uh, tickets are 10, 5, and 8, depending on what the type of person you have. So when a family comes in, they'll ask them how many adults, how many children, how many seniors. And of course, they can say zero if they don't have anyone like that in the family. So the next thing we want to do is, let's go ahead and copy this. I open up Notepad++. So again, if you go into your 114 folder, um, you should have your Notepad++ there. Uh, that's where you saved it, but just go wherever you saved it and double click on Notepad++ Portable and this shows up. Okay, and then we want to go ahead and create a new file. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste in the problem so we don't have to keep going back and forth referring to it. Okay, the next thing we want to do is break this down into the different parts. So it is assumptions. Hello. assumptions and in assumptions we're going to have scope and we're going to have constants and then we're going to have input calculations and output okay again we start always with output because they say they want to see a receipt that's showing how much how much they owe. So what I recommend is just copying this bottom part here, paste it into here. So make sure we don't miss anything. So you can see total cost for the family. So that's pretty easy. And right, that's going to be an output. And I'm just going to call that total cost. Good. And that's done. Now something different here. And that is how much they owe for each type of ticket. So there are three types of ticket. So I can't use one place in memory for each for those because there's three different and we can only store one value. So whenever you see each type of something, know that you have to break that down into individual parts. So we want to know um, what is the cost for adult tickets. So adult cost, and again, I'll comment that. Then also we have children, so it'll be child cost, and then for seniors, senior cost. Okay, so there's three different types of tickets. We need three places in memory for that. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it adult dollar or dollar adult or cost adult or whatever. Just you want to make be sure you're consistent and a person can take a look at that and know exactly what's going to be in that place of memory. All right, once we've gotten those down, the next thing we want to do is low-hanging fruit, which is the constants, because they show you right up here what the, the prices are. So we want to put that into our constants area. So for our constants, we have an adult ticket rate. Ticket rate. Uh, and we have a child ticket rate. If you're consistent, it's very easy to keep things organized. Senior ticket rate, because you want to make sure you don't want to put a just adult ticket because that could be the number of tickets or the rate for the ticket. So don't be confusing by being a little vague. Here, this is specific. These are the rates for each one. And then I just put an equal sign outside and the adults are 10 and the children are five and then the seniors are eight all right now we go back down to here let's move this up a little bit okay so i have to figure out where i'm going to get these and i'm either going to get them from calculations or from input and i can't ask a person well how much did it cost for all your adult tickets that has to be calculated so all these are calculations so i'll do control c Control V, and then I'll put space equals space after each one. So I'll go Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, and I'll start then with the bottom, um, the bottom math because that's the easiest because it always uses or almost always uses things above it. So in order for me to find out the total cost, 
if I know what the adult cost is and the child cost is and the senior cost is, well, then I just add them together for that. So now I just do that addition. I document it. And this is where Notepad++ Plus comes in handy. When I start typing adult, you can see adult cost pops up. So I hit tab, plus uh, child cost plus senior. And you can see that if we just called up there senior, we can have we could have two seniors here. So ticket rate is more specific. So I know that the senior cost is the one I'm looking for here. All right, and then I move up. And I say, okay, well, how do I figure out how much money they owe for seniors? And if I know the seniors are $8 a piece and they can order as many of those tickets as they want, then I simply multiply the number of tickets times that senior rate. All right, so it's going to be senior ticket rate times, and I could say num tickets, but that's too general because we're going to have three different types of tickets that they can order. So really, this is the num senior, and tickets is too long, so I'm just going to say tick. So num scene tick. Next thing I'm going to do is the children. And again, that's going to be, if I do child, the child ticket rate times the num uh, child tick. And then adults will be the same thing. It will be the adult ticket rate times the num adult tick. All right, so now I have for my input those three things. So I just simply start typing num, and you can see num and tick, and then num child tick, and then num senior tick. All right, so now I have I have documented everything again using Notepad plus plus. I know that the word I use for this is the same word I use for that. I won't have any problems later on. So the next thing we want to do is scope. Um, so families are customers, so we'll say only one customer, and then um, the price remains constant. So in other words, we don't charge different families different amounts. It's always going to be the 8, 10, uh, 5. And the last one could be uh, unlimited number of tickets. Again, we do that because they didn't say they want us to keep track of how many tickets we could sell. So if they only say the total number of tickets we can sell is 100, we'd have to try to keep track of that. And this this solution won't do that. We can do that later on in um, when we start learning more about programming. But for now, these are the constraints that we have. And that's why we call that scope. And now we're ready to go ahead and do our flow chart. And I think that's going to be it. So we're going to open up. Um, visual logic and then flowchart this to make sure that we can come up with our um, right answers. Now, one other thing I want to put on here before we leave is down here somewhere. Here we go. This is our practice data. This has already been figured out ahead of time. And if you're a professional developer, you got to figure this out yourself. But I'm going to use that to test, test my flow chart. And I just came up with, well, you want to come up with different numbers and then do the math with a calculator and then come up with what the answer is so that when I test my flow chart, if it comes out with a bunch of numbers, if I haven't pre-done it with a calculator, I don't know if these numbers are right. And you want to make sure the numbers are right. All right, that's it for this lesson. I will see you for flow chart.